Hey and welcome back. So if you watched my last video you saw that I conquered London and by that I gave England a step right into the heart. So basically in my opinion at this point the game was over and actually um, usually I hate if the game is decided. I really don't like finishing games. Um, usually or often I just quit the game after I um, gave the deciding blow to my enemy. But since this video is also for a YouTube audience and I started it, I wanted to finish it also. So in this video I um, speed up things by a lot and um, here you basically see me finishing off an already beaten enemy. And of course it was not that easy, England had still a bigger army and maybe you saw it right there, Carthago um, had been conquered by England so they still gave me a little bit of a fight. But in the end, um, yeah, I could pretty much um, deal with England pretty fine. So um, it was uh, very time consuming um, to rush uh, along the coast with my main fleet and conquer city after city. Um, yeah, so basically and that's what you see right here. So my main route was um, that after capturing London, I uh, conquered some of the North African cities um, right next to London, I think around the area of Egypt. And um, then I cruised back to Carthago, the area which um, England um, conquered back from me. Um, there was um, some kind of a battle, so I beat England there. And um, finally, I um, uh, marched towards Australia, or better said, uh, I sailed towards New Zealand and Australia, and pretty much, yeah, started conquering uh, New Zealand. Also, I turned my aggression towards um, Arabia, and since I only had a little fleet um, at this spot, I used the city-state since I had a huge income now. Um, I used the large armies of the city sta states to support me in um, yeah, conquering Arabia. And I know uh, maybe it's a bit hard to follow because I mix up um, I mix up our geography. So most of the times when I talk about the large continents, um, I refer to our world because you see probably in the world map it's. Um, yeah, our world map. Yeah, but if I talk, for instance, about Arabia, I of course talk about the civilization of Arabia. So, as you see, maybe right here, at the north coast of Australia, I gathered up a pretty large army. It's a mixture of my highly upgraded units as well as some new units. And yeah, I just sailed along the coast and took every city I, <laughs> which came close to me. While I was going strong on Australia, I also had a little fleet, um, well not that highly upgraded uh, battleships, but I had a little fleet on the west coast of Africa, so I started uh, pressuring the west coast also. And well, here you see me getting a little culture upgrade, really nice, I think it gave me plus 200 income, so not too shabby. Yeah, but anyways, um, progressed really nicely. And England finally realized that they should better um, surrender and um, so they suggested a peace treaty to me. Actually they offered me really a lot of money but I was not interested in money. I was interested in domination and I wanted cities. I, maybe I would have um, signed a peace treaty if England would have, uh, would have offered me some cities but they didn't. So I kept on going. And um, yeah, maybe you just saw it also, I just researched satellites and by this the whole world map got unwieldy. So while I took Australia and all the surrounding cities with my major war fleet, I also um, kept sieging on the west coast of, I think before I said Africa actually, it's um, North Africa, uh, South um, Europe. And I expanded the pressure by increasingly sending more and more warplanes into that area. So after my war fleet had taken Australia, um, I sent um, the large fleet towards Africa. And what you see here is pretty much um, yeah, the war fleet rampaging over all, all the coastal cities and taking city after city. 
Unfortunately I couldn't go for Arabia right there because I still had an active peace treaty but that didn't really stop uh, me from going wild on England. So while after taking London uh, me and England we were still uh, very close in the scoreboards now it's pretty obvious that um, the victory is close so I'm close to 5000 points while England dropped under 2000 so it's actually really only a matter of cleaning up at that point so here is a little filler you just saw the construction of the firewall and I think that's pretty much the last constructible world wonder in the game so well aside from that it came pretty handy that uh, peace treaty with um, Arabia just expired so I was uh, capable of taking Arabia as you saw right here I liberated the city instead of taking it and gave it back to China so I also had to uh, conquer it a second time so in the end I think there was pretty much only one city left you see in the, in the middle I also took this one and then the conquest went closer to Europe. And here you see actually England finally offered me some really nice rewards, I think uh, four cities, but England still had like I think 15 cities or something like that. And I mean the coast cities are very easy for me to take, so um, I refused, I still refused. Okay, and now you see that uh, right now, since this is the only spot I can attack, I brought all my ships right there and you see now I have masses of ships so really a huge army and it took only a couple of turns until I had conquered all these coastal cities. And while England was still sending lots of units to defend they had pretty much no way to defend against yeah, my units, especially my highly upgraded units. I think really this was the key to win this game. Uh, they were so good. It's just if you have one highly upgraded warship, it's even better than two individual ships because you have the higher range, you have the double attack. That's really awesome if you can uh, keep the units you get in the early game and keep going with them. So you have some super good units in the end. Okay, aside from that, you see, um, I don't know, I think my computer is really garbage. Actually, I don't have the worst computer, but um, I had so many cities at the time that every time I conquered a city, I had these long loading times. As you can see here, it takes really a long time until, I mean, I speed up everything uh, by uh, four times, but, st but uh, still it takes so long until I conquer the cities. And since I had a lot of um, warplanes, I also could um, siege the cities which were a bit more inside of the land. So usually I um, yeah, bombarded them with uh, my bombers and then I took them just with a tank. So um, yeah. And finally, um, England offered me a peace treaty once again. And this time I didn't refuse, I said okay, because England gave me all cities but once, so saved me a lot of time, since at this point I just wanted the game to be over. And yeah, to finish it off I just uh, declared peace. So now the only um, civilization left was, uh, or the only civilizations left were Carthago and Ramkahen. But Carthago didn't play a role because for a domination victory you just have to conquer the capitals and I was already in possess, um, possession of um, Carthago. So I only had to go for the capital of yeah, Ramkahen, the Ramkahen civilization. And as you just saw, um, England just conquered their capital, so it was pretty funny. But one, ten, uh, one turn later um, Ramkahen conquered uh, back this capital so it was really weakened for me um, and I just had to bomb it down and take it with a tank and really long loading time really long loading time and here we go I just beat the game and for you some statistics so you see um, in regards of culture I was always leading but aside from that I had a it was pretty much 
a head-on-head -head race with England all the time. I mean, most of the time England was slightly ahead in most aspects, but we were pretty much head-on on everything. And now here comes the part I really enjoy, I really love when finishing a game. Because here you see the flow of the game in fast motion. And as you can see right here, um, yeah, the um, any enemy civilizations on the difficulty level of deity, they start with uh, two cities, that's a huge advantage. And you see here, while I only had um, my first two cities, um, especially uh, Ramkahan was already far ahead with five cities. And I really love that because I had no clue basically what was going on, on in the area around Europe and Asia. I only n knew about North um, America. And here, um, out of a sudden, England gets very strong and swallows... Um, I don't even know what civilization they swallowed. They swallowed a whole civilization. And yeah, out, out of a sudden they also um, civilized around Australia and um, parts of Asia and they really spread like a big disease and I mean of course um, don't get confused by the red colors I mean you, if you remember the south part of America was still Austria we had the same colors but um, during that time um, England really got a huge lead. So, uh, as it turned out, at the beginning of the game, Ramkehen was the strongest one, but um, yeah, I don't know why, but England really pushed forward and really got the lead. And yeah, at that point of the game, which we see right now, England was definitely the strongest civilization. But now, um, I mean, after I conquered um, Austria and also Greece, um, it was my turn to strike back and I took. Um, the main parts of Carthago and then I went for Arabia right there and then I started the war against England and this was really the creepy part and you see some blinking right there because I conquered some cities England conquered them back um, but after I took basically London yeah then the game was done and yeah here you see um, the final achievement so uh, Unfortunately, it's a German, but I hope you believe me that this is the real achievement when you beat Deity. And yeah, actually, I have to admit, this was the first time I beat Deity. I was trying to beat Deity for eight months straight. I started over and over again, and every time I found a nice starting position with like five uh, tiles of salt, then I always started my open broadcaster software and I tried to film it. Uh, not for the YouTube audience to be honest, but more for me because I really like the, to look at old videos. Um, for instance, I used to be a World of Warcraft raider and I love, I love those uh, first kills of the super hard bosses. And uh, that's the same, I really love to, to look back at your accomplishments, even though they are only gaming accomplishments. Still, it feels like an accomplishment and um, yeah, but I never could do it. I tried it again and again. So um, I think I already had figured out what strategy I wanted to go. Like I said, I wanted to go for quick expansion with the Liberty Tree. And yeah, I, so this wasn't my first attempt. Uh, I had to do many attempts and finally I had this video uh, of finally a successful try and I'm really happy that it turned out the way it did. So um, the last thing um, which is left for me to say is um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope my annoying voice didn't bother you too much but actually I plan on doing some more videos. My next game will be XCOM 2, also some of my favorite video game series. So yeah, stay tuned and if you like the series there will be soon more. So have a great day or a great night and see you soon again.